Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2019 Topps Heritage Baseball. It's a personal box break for Jesse. Jesse R., thanks for grabbing a box of that earlier today. Appreciate your patience. Grabbed a random box from the stack, from the case that we opened up, and we ended up with box seven. Box seven. So CardboardConnection.com, obviously all cards ship in this. CardboardConnection.com has a great uh, variation guide right here from the last numbers of the codes right here. So there you go. So we'll go through all the cards and I'll try to, obviously you're going to get everything so I would double check to make sure, but I'll kind of flip through the backs of the cards too just to see if we can kind of spot any of these right away. These are the most common. Those pop out a little more frequently. All these ones are uh, are very short printed. The throwbacks are the shortest printed card. I think it's like one out of every like 10,000 packs or something like that. Oh, we got odds here. We got approximate odds per pack of finding uh, the posters, the originals, the teammates cards, blah, 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 blah. Those are for the inserts. CardboardConnection.com has the info, info on the short prints. All right. Ooh. There you go. One original 1970 card inside. So Heritage, we did 1969 last year. And now this year is uh, 1970. We're in the 70s now. I don't know how many of you remember the original 1970 card. Maybe with some of you when you were kids, maybe. All right. Good luck. Now we've got we've got plenty available, ladies and gentlemen. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. You'll see the uh, the price of the personal box, free shipping. We don't charge for shipping. I know some places may have it a little bit lower than us online, but they'll charge for shipping. And I get to open it for you. And there's extra value there too. Time change next week, folks. So the, around this time next week, we'll be we'll be looking to spring forward. Right, California is trying not to change. We want to keep it one thing. We don't want to go back and forth all the time. I think Arizona, yeah, Arizona doesn't spring forward or fall back. Well, how confusing. I think there's some counties in like Indiana, aren't there, Rex? That that don't change, but the other surrounding counties do. Something weird like that. All right, there's one autograph or relic per box. They're usually relics. The autographs are kind of harder to hit in the in these sets. All right, nine ninety nine. It's kind of hard to spot some of the parallels just by the fronts of the cards, unless it's like the throwbacks. So. On the backs, there are those serial numbers, and we look at the backs to see if we can find some short prints. So let's see if I can spot any right now. So these uh, these high number short prints, it's a, basically any card 401 over 401 and up are the base short prints. They're a little more common. So be sure to seek those out. This is a lot of good treasure hunting in this set. Which I really like. Nick Jaspi and I, maybe three, four years ago, we bought ourselves a case of Heritage and we just, we ripped the case and we just kicked back and had some beers and ripped a case and and looked at the stuff there. What's this? Out of 120, oh, th those are just the, the then and now cards, 128. the best thing we pulled was a Bryce Harper red ink autograph. Did we did we break even on that? And there's the hit, Nick Markakis, Braves edition. Game used memorabilia. Nice. I think we may have. I I think we didn't pay if we paid retail, I don't think we would have broken even. We would have fallen a little short.
you know, we all reacted to a comment about uh, playing for one another and playing together. Both teams don't have the talent. And even if they are playing hard, playing for one another, playing together, they don't have enough to win the game. Uh, the Lakers actually have enough talent, uh, but they've gotten disconnected and it's not together. Oh, Indiana didn't change until 2005, says Rex. I thought there was like I saw a TV show where there were maybe it's not maybe it's not you guys in. Oh, you know, maybe I was thinking I was watching something where like you can get confused, you can be right on the border of Indiana and another state and then be like, whoops. <laughs> That was an old farming thing, right? Daylight savings. We should just try to maximize as much daylight as possible. It's terrible in the fall and winter. because It already gets dark earlier anyway. But then you add the fall back and then you're just like, oh my god, it's like dark and it's only 5 o'clock or something like that. Can't do that. We, we pay, we pay a, a hefty tax for the sunshine here. Why are we why are we limiting sunshine? Get that out of here. Jump over to Saturday, March sixth, Celtics on ABC at five thirty. Dale McGee with a perfect ten for ten shooting. I guess we got a ton of farmers in California, but big run there in the fourth quarter. Obviously was not enough. What happened in the first three quarters? You guys had four by seventeen going in. Is that an action parallel? It is. One twenty four is an action image. There you go, Anthony Rizzo. Action variation. Lights, camera, action. Yeah, I don't know what the. I'm not sure how I can tell it because they're all different colors anyway. Really, the only way you can tell if there's like a color swap is just by looking at that that last number. All right, last act, Jesse. Good luck. Some of these uh, variation can sell for for a ton, folks. So if you if you like that sort of treasure hunting, then heritage is for you. I, I do enjoy the heritage. This is this is great for this is perfect for personal. Interesting. Rex is saying, you've noticed that it seems that if you get a relic, you get a variation too. But if you get an auto, you don't get anything else. That might just be coincidence. It's with, with like hundreds of millions of cards of this being produced. It's hard to kind of intentionally do it that way. I think it's just a matter of one every other, run every blah, blah, blah. Um, there's what, 20? We can do the math right now. 24 packs per box. All right, so 24 times a 12 box case. There's only 288 packs per box, which is not a lot considering some of these odds. If you go to cardboardconnection.com and you go to their, where's their variation page? I think it's kind of interesting to revisit this. Where's your variation guide, you guys?
There it is. So on cardboard, I'll drop it in the chat for you guys who are watching. Um, there's the variation guide right there. That's what I printed out. But there's additional information if you scroll to the bottom. Um, so like the action variation that we – actually, this is this is one of the few that actually say action right here, that say what the variation is. But that's one out of every 41 packs. The team color swap variations – um, one out of every 245 packs, so that's almost one per case, right? The French back card, which, which we actually haven't really paid attention to, but be sure to look at the backs, everybody, who've been doing personal boxes. There's French text underneath the English text, right? So that's one out of every 164 packs. That's like a little less than one per case. Error variations are one out of 4,585, <laughs> so... 4,583 divided by 288. So that's about one every 15 cases. The nickname variations are, are one out of every 10 cases maybe, two, one out of every 2,288 packs. The trade ones, where it says trade in the top left corner too, are one out of every 2,288 packs. And the throwbacks are one out of every 10,879 packs. So yeah, so they're they're pretty hard to hit. So actually no we've only put one, pulled one auto rich out of this case and it's only been um what should call it? I think some old school guy from like the 1970s or something that I don't even know. I'm usually pretty good with baseball. So nothing big. And and this box we only got um, a relic out of it, which was Nick Markakis. There's the, the old scratch off cards right here. I didn't realize the LA Galaxy played today. Soccer MLS opened today. Oh, it was a it was a Senators auto, an old Washington Senators autograph. Well, nothing back there, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse, thank you very much for getting in. Let's take a look at what your original 1970 card looks like. It's going to be card number 49. It's Timothy Cullen from the Senators. There you go. So we got the 50th anniversary seal right there, which is cool. And there you have it. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The old Pacific Coast League teams right here too. That's pretty cool. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Jesse, thank you for grabbing that personal box. All cards will ship. Be sure to double check the backs of these. I'm sure there could be some French text ones that I may have missed. So be sure to keep an eye out on that and just double check the number, the serial numbers as well. Go to CardboardConnection.com for the... Uh, for the serial numbers there. So there you have it, folks. Thank you for watching. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. This is Joe. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.